여러분 안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. In today's video, I would like to let you know that if you haven't updated your browser, you probably should do it right now, as quickly as possible, like yesterday. A couple of days ago, Google released a security fix for a zero-day vulnerability that was affecting Google Chrome. But it turns out that other browsers are affected as well, and from the clues that Google gives us, it looks like this vulnerability might be a big one. Zero-day vulnerability means that this is a never-seen-before security hole. It means that no one or almost nobody knows about this. It also means that people have had zero days to update their systems. Qualys, which is a platform that tracks vulnerabilities, says that the successful exploitation of this security hole might result in the complete compromise of the system. This means a complete takeover of the computer, which is something that might already be happening because Google has said that they are aware that there is an exploit already for this security hole in the wild. This means it's out there in the internet and some people might be getting affected already by it. This problem is not only affecting Google Chrome, it's actually affecting other browsers as well because the problem, the security hole, is not in Chrome itself, it's actually in the Chromium's V8 JavaScript engine. Many of the browsers that we use, like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Brave Browser, Neighbor Well, Samsung Internet, Vivaldi, share the same core. They were all made using something called Chromium, which is an open source browser. All these browsers took Chromium and added some extra features on top of it. Now those browsers might look different and have some different features, like for example Google Chrome, if you use it, you can link it very well with your Google account. But if you use, for example, Brave Browser, you get Adblock already installed by default and more privacy. So all these browsers maybe look different, but they share the same core. And this means that if that core that all the browsers use has a problem, this means that all these browsers have a problem as well. And this is exactly what the problem is. The problem is on Chromium, which is the core that everybody shares, and then more specifically in the V8 JavaScript engine that Chromium uses to execute JavaScript. V8 is an open source JavaScript engine that is written in C and that is used by Chromium, but also Node.js. Our CPUs, of course, do not understand JavaScript. So when you go to a website that uses JavaScript or when you use Node.js, V8 is the one that is going to read your JavaScript code. It is going to compile it to bytecode and using something called Turbofan is going to compile that to machine code. And it's somewhere there in V8 where this vulnerability is, which might mean that to trigger the vulnerability, all the hackers would have to do is just run some malicious JavaScript code. Browsers like Firefox and Safari don't use V8. They use their own JavaScript engines. The JavaScript engine of Firefox is called Spider Monkey, and the JavaScript engine of Safari is called JavaScript Core. So this means that if you're using Firefox or Safari, you are completely safe and there is nothing to worry about today. Now I would like to show you how this vulnerability is exploited. What is the code that makes this security hole happen? And what is the worst thing that an attacker could do to our computer? The problem is that I can't. Google is keeping all the details about this zero day secret. Google is basically buying time so that more than 3 billion Google Chrome users have enough time to update their systems. Since as we saw before, there is an exploit out there in the wild. They are aware of this, so they know that this is already being used to compromise some systems. 3 billion, that's a lot of users. And this doesn't count all the other browsers that are using Chromium. This only counts Google Chrome itself. That's insane. The only thing that we know is that this security vulnerability is caused by something called type confusion. Type confusion happens when the program allocates a variable or creates a variable with a specific type, but later accesses that variable with an incompatible type. Now this makes the system crash and potentially might allow the hacker to execute some arbitrary code. But even though we don't know the actual details about this zero day, we can tell it's a big one because Google doesn't usually pushes an update that contains only one security fix. Usually, Chrome updates contain many small fixes. This update has only one fix and it was pushed really quickly after receiving the report of this vulnerability by an anonymous researcher. 
We can also tell that this one is a big deal when the US Cybersecurity Agency orders all federal agencies to update their browsers immediately. This is not the first zero day that Chrome has had this year. Back in February, the Chrome team pushed a fix for a zero day vulnerability that was being used by North Korean hackers for six weeks before being discovered. So to conclude, if you use any Chromium based browser, like for example, Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, Brave Browser, Never Will, Samsung Internet, Vivaldi or Opera, make sure you update your systems right now. Most of these browsers have already pushed the updates and usually these browsers have auto updates enabled. So you don't have to do anything to download the update, but you might have to restart your browser for the update to take effect. Most Chromium browsers can be updated by going to settings and about. There you can see if there are any updates pending and you can also check the Chromium version that your browser is running. The vulnerable Chrome version is this one right here. So check if you are running something higher than this. And if you're not, click the update button. I wish I had more details about the exploit and what is the actual code that triggers this vulnerability. But for now, everything is secret and it makes sense why. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a follow-up video on this when we know more details later. And that's it for this video. If you like the way I explain things and you would like to code for free with me, then please click the link below because there you're going to find free courses on things like JavaScript, React, React Native, Python, Redux, GraphQL, Go, among many other things. Thank you, as always, for watching. Stay happy, stay free, stay healthy. Eat Ginji, kamsamida, sarangheyo. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.